The entire boiler is surrounded in the firebox section with either radial, flexible, or crown stay bolts. The stay bolts prevent the inside and the outside sheets from exploding out because of the great pressure that's on the inside created by the steam and the water when they're boiling. This is a radial stay bolt. Essentially how this acts is you have your inside sheet that faces your fire, you have your outside sheet that faces the atmosphere, and they're both threaded, so they will be held just about like this, and the whole inside section here will be full of water and steam. That's the pressurized section. These are in a calculated grid that helps us maintain our boiler safety factor of four, and so it's imperative that we install all of these bolts carefully, properly, and adhere to the proper procedure. We're going to start with our one inch 12 thread stay bolt tap and reamer. This section right here is reamer, this section is tap. It begins widening the hole, to account for the inside and the outside holes misalignment. So we will start our tap in. It starts inside the outside sheet first, and then the guide starts into the inside sheet. As we turn, it'll widen the holes out and align them. If the holes are drilled at different angles because we replace the inside and the outside sheets separately, this will help account for that misalignment, and it will also install threads in the hole simultaneously. The tap will be passed all the way through be passed back out the bottom. We will clean and inspect the hole, and then we will be ready to install our radial state bolt. It just threads in like a normal bolt. We will then take an air hammer, drive over the outside and the inside, swelling the bolt inside of the hole and permanently affixing it to the boiler, preventing it from leaking. 